We're here uh, day two of NAM with acclaimed jazz fusion keyboardist Jeff Lorber, who also authors our lesson column Cold Fusion, which you can read in the. Uh, Don't section. miss it, ladies and gentlemen. There's seriously cool chops and strategies for soloing and comping in Jeff's column. And Adam Barber, composer, producer, keyboard player, and uh, wanted to uh, ask you guys what's your favorite thing or coolest, most compelling instrument you've seen at the NAM show so far? Um, I was really surprised by the vintage vibe, which is sort of a, a remake of a Fender Rhodes kind of thing. And because um, I played it before and I wasn't as blown away the previous time, but I think they've come along and it really it seemed to be quite good. It was. Uh, it sounded great. Yeah, as good or possibly. It definitely looks better than the Rhodes that I have. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if it sounds better, but it, it sounds very good. So that was fun to see that happen. The clavinet. They had a clavinet too. Well, like a clavinet. Yeah, that was a lot of fun to play yeah, too. That was really cool. That was really nice. Um, yeah, the vibe of that. Yeah, I played that last year, and that's, yeah. that's killer. So I mean, I, I like those guys. They seem like you know they're really into it for the music, and uh, they're into it for the right reasons. So hopefully they'll succeed. I mean, you know, really, I'm just glad to see all these companies here trying to put out great products, and I'm, I'm rooting for all of them. And I'm glad they're doing what they're doing. Um, we stopped by Dave Smith, who we always go see, and he's got uh, Prophet 12. That's nice. sounded really good. Yep. I, was, I really like that. A Models lot. out this year as well. Um, yeah. Checked out uh, Moog, uh, the Sub 37. That was cool. Excited to see that come out. Uh, definitely want to get that. Yeah. That looked like it had too many buttons for me. I couldn't understand what all. You got a modular sound. Yeah, yeah, he has a modular, yeah. but that had just enough buttons for me. That looked really good. <laughs> cool. But <laughs> I, what I liked over there was that they had a, a polyphonic batch of fatties. So and and that sounded really good when I was I mean, playing. They were cascaded together. Yeah. So yeah. Could have yeah. So that was that was pretty cool. And, and got cool. to look at the uh, the ladder filter a little closer and the delay. Five hundred series filter. Yeah. Yep. Those those yep. are really great. And um, oh, oh, and the knee the. The Neve 551 EQ that it came out with, the the induction EQ. Is it Rupert? Yeah, Rupert Neve Designs, Rupert Designs the yeah. Portico uh, 551 500 Very series. Cool. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, looking forward to getting one of those. A couple. Yeah. And we went over to the Avid booth, and there's a new version of Sibelius that's coming out. I've got a briefing about that in just a little while, actually. I don't know and, where um, about it. 7.5. And I got I, I got a little lesson from the guy there that told me showed me how to actually record stuff in real time in Sibelius, which I've never been able to figure out before, so that was, that was yeah. pretty cool. And it was nice. It was nice, pretty straightforward. It's like three gestures, and you're, you know, it really cleans it up well. You, you, you input it, it looks, doesn't look really pretty, and then you do a couple, like three three clicks, and bang, it's all yeah, good. Basically quantize it to 68 clicks or something. So yeah, really nice and clean. Is, but, um, cool. Have you got the Korg yet, which is a micro Korg XL? Oh, I guitar. missed that. I did. I, that That's cool. I did see the Korg, like um, the toy, piano. toy pianos. Korg toy piano <laughs> rocks. It's really great. I mean, it's a little toy piano, but it, it, it's just nice to see something like that. That's fun, you know, and creative, and for kids. Maybe a little expensive for kids, but it's the idea. I think is is just a fun, nice concept. All right. I, I played a bunch of the Yamaha pianos, like the acoustic pianos, which are always great. Um, I don't think they had one of their concert brands there this time, unfortunately, but which, which are amazing. Well, Yamaha also has a thing called transacoustic technology, where there's an acoustic piano yeah. and a sample engine inside it, and it uses the soundboard as a resonator. Right. And the last time I tried that, I mean, that, I think that's improving a lot each time. You know, each year it seems to get a little better. I mean, generally speaking, I'd rather play the real thing, but. Um, well, it is the real thing. It is an acoustic piano. There's just a sample engine for other sounds on top. Oh, of it. oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yeah, okay. it's a hybrid. Oh, maybe I didn't see that. That's new then. Yeah. I, maybe I it's didn't see that. It's at the back that. of the Yamaha ballroom behind the glass doors. It's, right. Uh, oh, yeah, we didn't, we didn't go in doors. there. Yeah, so check that out. Very okay. cool. I, I want to tell readers that uh, your latest album, Hacienda, yes. uh, has been nominated for a Grammy, and you are presenting. I'm presenting at the pre the so-called pre-tell, which means there's the Grammy Awards that everybody sees on TV where they give out five yeah. awards. And then there's right. the pre-telecast where they give out the other 95 awards that are that go out. So, <laughs> so I'll be presenting classical categories, which I, I won't be able to pronounce. So that'll, that'll be, be Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Afternoon. No, that's that's Sunday, right before Sunday. the regular oh, Sunday Grammys. Sunday Grammys. Sunday yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, nice. Well, Hacienda is a great piece of work, and everybody who reads Keyboard is rooting for you. So, uh, good luck. We'll know. We'll Thanks know very much. Yep. Okay, and that is uh, Jeff Lorber and Adam Barber. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. Thank you.